What's going on guys, Greg Freak here and in this video we're going to be talking about DeMarcus Cousins and the rumors that he may be going to the San Antonio Spurs. Now DeMarcus Cousins has been reported that he's had contact with DeMar DeRozan. Now if we do remember the fact that of last season that the Warriors did not really recruit DeMarcus Cousins, DeMarcus Cousins called the Warriors. So in this case it would be almost the same type of situation here with the San Antonio Spurs. And I think the fact that this would be a good pickup in many ways. Now, DeMarcus Cousins has not been getting much interest from other teams, which is very much surprising to me. I think the fact that many teams are looking at sort of what happened in the playoffs, his performances there, and of course, him coming off of this Achilles injury when it came down to it. But in reality, I don't think he really fell off that much because of this perspective here. Now, if you do look here at the two numbers of the two years before the Achilles injury and then after the Achilles injury, you would be sitting there saying, well, he's obviously lost a little bit of what he's been doing. But of course, we knew immediately when he was going to come back, he was going to be on a minutes restriction due to the fact of how long he had been out for. You do slowly come back. So he did not have the complete minutes that he did have in the previous year in that state. So whenever we do look at this, this is him with lower minutes. Now, he still put up very good numbers despite his three-point shooting being the only thing that I would say was lower. And the reason for his higher field goal percentage is the fact that the Warriors obviously open up the court a lot more and force the other player teams to play smaller. So I wouldn't really look at the efficiency as far as that much. But in the per 36, you notice the numbers do not drop off that much. Now, obviously, when you come off an Achilles injury, we're going to expect droppage of play when it comes down to it. But when this is all in situation here, I think the fact that we see the fact that a team like this, like the Spurs, would have a great addition here when we're talking about the addition of DeMarcus Cousins. This allows LaMarcus Aldridge to play his natural position at the power forward spot. It also gives you three, at least, as far as affordable all-star caliber type players now i'm not directly sure is demarcus cousins ever going to recover completely to his point where he is we know the fact that the spurs are very much more resting oriented they do not play long grinding minutes in the greg popovich system so we're going to see not really per 36 numbers we're going to see a little bit more shorter of that around maybe the 30 minute mark so whenever you're seeing something like this, this allows, of course, more depth when it comes down to their team. They also re-signed, of course, uh, Rudy Gay. So whenever we look at this, this team has plenty of things that they do have as far as on the offensive end. And when you have somebody like DeMarcus Cousins, and the reason why I think that he could be looking at this is he still is, of course, looking and believes in himself as a player that can perform like he did before. And he could easily sign a either short-term deal or if the Spurs would be interested in a more longer term deal, I hardly doubt it. I think it'd be more of a short term deal, but being able to learn from the Greg Popovich system. And of course, when you're in San Antonio trying to prove himself, as we all know, DeMarcus Cousins is a little bit of a personality when it comes to playing the game due to his technical fouls, things such as that. So a moment for him to really be able to prove himself that he can actually fit in into a system and be able to perform and not be a liability in that form of a way now not only that many people of course his numbers as far as defensively did not drop much at all as they were both around two almost one steal per game along with two blocks per game so he still was at that rate with the per 36 with this year actually even having better defensive numbers but i wouldn't take that directly in the point there due to the fact it is just defensive numbers on a per 36 i don't really take those into much consideration when it comes down to that but as far as together i think the fact that you this could be an easy steal in many cases because obviously i don't believe the fact that demarcus cousins is going to be offered a max contract or anything really even close to it so this could be very much a good steal as far as the year goes last season i directly stated the fact that Brooke Lopez was to me the steal of the free agency due to the fact of him signing such a small contract and being fully healthy the way that he performed as far as on the Bucks. I think the fact that it really showed even. So 
as far as this, and we see what happened with Brooke Lopez, who ended up having to take a almost a minimum contract at $3 million for one year and ending up getting this $55 million contract with the Bucks now. So obviously this is an opportunity for a player such as DeMarcus Cousins to be able to prove himself again, show the fact he could be worth a bigger contract. And if you're the San Antonio Spurs, you have to make more improvements when it comes down to it. The Western Conference has obviously improved even more. I think the whole NBA has improved very, very nicely to me. There's very few teams that really took a step back and it's going to be very difficult if you were one of those lower teams as the Western Conference for the past two years have been just games apart when it comes to just having home court and not even making the playoffs. So whenever you want to do this, you want to make every advantage possible. And I think the fact that this, if he's willing to come to your team as he did at Golden State, you could be having this. And not only that, you're having them coming back as a fully healthy year, not having to worry about coming off of a direct injury going into the season. So as many people do notice that. Now, of course, he did not perform that well during the playoffs. Many people need to remember the fact he did get injured with a completely separate injury being the quad injury. And when he came back, it was a more of a rush, but he knew the fact that he was coming back in a rush situation, knowing the fact that the Warriors would go there. But guys, tell me what your guys' thoughts are on DeMarcus Cousins. Do you think, where do you think he will sign at? And tell me in the comments below. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure that you guys leave a like and subscribe to Power the Greek Army today. And as always, this is Sparta.